topic will be our software process. We are going to start with the software process. The topics we are going to cover as your software process model, the variety of process models, whatever is available inside your software. So all these things we are going to find it out. The next one will be your process activities. Then the next one will be your copying with change. Then the process improvements. So uh, moving towards our next slide. Okay, now let's see the meaning of our uh, software process. What is the meaning of your software process? The first thing we should know that what is the meaning of your process? The process is nothing but your programs, whatever you are going to execute. So here the software process will be, it is nothing but it is a structured set of activities required to develop a software system. How we are going to have the structured activities? Suppose you, as I given you one example in the last time to prepare a Maggie. Suppose uh, let's take a blind example. How we are going to prepare the Maggie? The first thing you people have answered me like, first we have to go to the shop, buy the Maggie packets, arrange all the activities you want to do, and then you can go for the Maggie preparations. So what all are the activities you did? All these things you have done in a structured way. You cannot put the uh, first the uh, like kadai on the stove and then you cannot go to buy the maggie packet right that will be in your unstructured way so the structured set of activities when you are going to provide and if you are going to provide to your software system that is nothing but your software process you are going to follow some structured activities during your software process so there are another one thing is there also that is your software process model here you can see what is a software process model? It is nothing but it is an abstract representation of a process. Abstract representation in the sense, what all are the things you are doing, that things and all, you have to put it in an architectural way. You have to put it in a diagrammatical way. So that is known as your abstract representation of a process. And also it represents a description of a process from some particular perspective it will whatever the uh, like diagram diagram in the sense you know the flow charts so whenever any terms you are going to put it inside your flow chart so all these activities whatever you are writing you are describing also so the activities when you are making in a structured way that is your software process and all these activities if we will put together in a flow chart with a meaningful terms that is known as your software process model so there is a difference between a software process and a software process model software process will be the structured set of activities and software process model will be all the structured set of activities you have to put it in a form of your flow chart so there are some of the software processes are available the some examples are like specifications design and implementation validation evaluations so these all are some of the software process so we have some uh, num like uh, priorly based the software process which we have to maintain so now here what is the meaning of your specifications it means that it is going to define what the system is going to do you have to specify if you have designed a structured way of activities then you have to go through this process the first process will be specification what is a specification you have to define what the system is going to do once you have decided that the specification the next you have to go through your design and implementation so that activities you have to put it in a design way or in a flowchart manner so that is nothing but your design and implementation next you are going to do the validation you have to check it out that according to the customer whatever the requirement was there it has been correct or not so that work you are going to do in this process the last process what it will be it will be as your evolution what is the meaning of your evolution it has to change the system in response to change the customer needs suppose the uh, customer will say you that whatever you have uh, given the work it is not appropriate to him so you have to keep change in this process let's take the example of your maggie first thing is specification it means that what actually you want to do what actually you want to do you have to prepare the maggie 
now what is the next one the design and implementation you have to make a flow chart first how you are going to start you know how to prepare the start also you have to give a oval uh, shape and you have to start the process there what you are going to do you have to write that you have to go to the shop you have to buy the maggie packets you have to buy the vegetables you need oils you need whatever the activity whatever the things you require you are going to put it in a design way in a flow chart manner then you have to switch on the stove put the karai then give the water vegetables all this it, is, it has to be in a systematic way that you are going to design it once the design process will be over the next thing you are going to implement it means you are going to prepare your maggi so in that time if this process will be working out the implementation process next what you are going to do in the validation once the implementation implementation process is over you have to go for the checking that whatever the maggi you have prepared it is okay or not okay if it is uh, if uh, in this validation process first you have to check it out by yourself if you are okay or if you are satisfied then you have to go for the evolution process here you have to send the you have to give for the testing to the other customers or those who are present at home if they will say that yes salt is more salt is less masala is less masala is more then according to that you have to do the changes the same thing we are going to follow to whenever we will prepare the softwares so before designing any of the softwares we are going to follow this kind of process so this is all about your software process